everybody, Joel Norton here, and today I'm doing a mini book review on How High We Go in the Dark um, by Sequoia Sekou- Nagamatsu, and I might be butchering that, and I apologize if I am. You guys can correct me down in the comments on how to pronounce that correctly if I did. Um, so I saw this kind of pop up on Audible, and I grabbed it just out of curiosity and wanted a nice little swap up, and indeed I got one. So I got way out of my comfort zone on this one because typically... I don't do well where there's it, every chapter is a different character essentially, um, and it, it, it's hard for me to get into books like that. Now that being said, I knew that going into it after I got it and I read the description, and I was like, okay. And someone had told me that uh, I was like, okay, I'm going to it with an open mind here. Uh, I'm just going to go along for the ride, and so that's what I did. Popped it on and just kind of just enjoyed it for what it was. I'm not going to. It wasn't very character driven but however is really well written so the characters in each chapter really got a hook in on me so that was great um almost at the end of every chapter i was sad to see that character go and we move on to another character um the issue i had with this was um i'm not sure when this came out oh it just came out yeah so it is a pandemic type story where a pandemic a pandemic is happening and there's a uh plague that kind of gets uncovered by uh global warming and basically the ice melting i believe in siberia if i'm remembering correctly and they find like bodies of frozen you know uh neanderthals or, or cavemen and they uh find a virus in there and it spreads quickly and the virus is a it kind of takes arteries and they form into they call it a shape shifting virus and they kind of form to different uh, body parts. So like your lungs turn into a liver and you just die horribly. Um, and it kind of goes through this whole process of the initial of the pandemic all the way to the end of the pandemic. Are uh, yeah. So so that that being said, I, obviously well, with what we've gone through in 2020. I've heard well more than enough about pandemics. So that was the only aspect of this book I wasn't digging. Um, Like I said, the writing is really well done and the characters snagged me in every chapter. So that was great. Uh, But all in all, by the end of it, I was just kind of, I don't want to break. I don't want to say anything to ruin the book for you guys. So I'm not going to drop any spoilers or anything like that. But basically, by the end of it, I was like, you know, this is, I'm happy I read this, if that's the best way I put it. I'm happy I read it. It was well written. There was just stuff about it that just didn't, not really my taste. And so I gave this a flat three out of 10, or three out of five, sorry, three out of five, three out of five. So I do think it's above average. Um, it's not going to 2.5 or anything like that. We're going with a flat three. Uh, so 0.5 above average. And, I like I said, this was just not my uh, my exactly what I was looking for at the time, but I enjoyed the journey. If that makes any sense, I wouldn't mind reading again at some point. Uh, I enjoyed it enough for that. Um, but yeah, I, I I definitely think this is worth looking into. If if any of that sounds interesting to you, just I kind of went in blind, and the only thing I knew about it was there's going to be a lot of different characters, and you know that that's that was great. Actually, this was way more enjoyable than I thought it would be because of that. I'm, I enjoy my character-driven stuff, so I like when it follows one or two characters throughout a book, or you know, if it does go to multiple characters, like uh, let's say Wheel of Time, it, it you get a really good feel of that character, and you you know that character so well uh, by the time they're jumping to other characters, really. So I really like that kind of style. But like I said, they did uh, Sequoia did so well with that because I by end of every chapter I was hooked on the character. No matter how much I was like, eh. and then by the end of the chapter, I was like, okay, I kind of like this character. Um, I found a lot of the stuff really interesting. Uh, some of the other issues I had were the future, it kind of gets into a fu- futuristic area, and it's just not very futuristic. Um, I, I feel like there'd be a lot more happening in the uh, hundreds of years span that this goes over. Um, it just kind of, some of the stuff felt a little bit futuristic, but not much more crazy and just for me just thinking about the past 20 years um we went from like dial up internet to crazy fast internet and the internet is like a worldwide marketplace from the 90s that would have been a kind of a joke right so things have 
that happened a lot of a lot has happened in the last 20 30 years so for like a couple hundred years i feel like there, there'd be a little bit more advanced stuff going on so that's my other little nitpicky thing but other than that uh like i said the writing is fantastic and uh if you're not really into the sci-fi or like you want you don't want that futuristic feel exactly or it's more of like it maybe a humanity was struggling so they didn't get a lot of technology build up i could see that that makes sense um but yeah so i, I it was just kind of a, a slightly above average book for me but uh yeah guys that is my review for how high we go in the dark by sekoa nagamatsu like i said apologies if i butcher that name i have a great habit of butchering names and for most of you in the channel you guys you guys already know that so if uh you i did mess it up you could drop in the comments of how to pronounce that but until next time guys a uh, peace out i appreciate you guys if you do me a favor hit that like button hit the subscribe button if you enjoy the review and uh, come join the community until next time guys peace